Chapter six. You can walk. Oh, who's she? Yeah, maybe she is Clara. <gasps> wow, and grandmother maybe. And th this is a father. This is Heidi. Let's start the story. In the end, the big day arrives. Heidi sees some people far down the mountain. Slowly, they come nearer. Clara, Grandmama, Heidi cries, and she runs and meets them. Oh, Heidi, says Clara, do you live here? It's beautiful. Hello there, Heidi, smiles Grandmama, says man, and she takes Heidi in her arms. When they reach the hut, Grandfather is waiting for them. He says hello warmly. Soon he and Grandmama Sesman are talking and laughing in front of the hut. After Grandfather puts Clara in her wheelchair, Heidi takes her for a little walk. When they return, Clara can't stop talking about the beautiful mountains. Grandmother Sesman smiles and says, I'm staying in a hotel in the nearest town, but would you like to stay here in the mountains with Heidi? Can I? Clara asks. Yes, says Grandfather. You can, says Grandmama. Oh, good, cries Heidi excitedly. Clara loves her new home and with the mountain air and heavenly things to eat. She feels stronger every day, but not everybody is happy about that every morning. When Peter comes to comes for grandfather's goat, he asks Heidi, Are you coming up the mountain today? Heidi always answers, No, I can't push Clara's wheelchair up the mountains, so I must stay here with her. That makes Peter angry. But Peter 입장에서는 정말 화나긴 하겠다. 그쵸? Then one morning, Heidi smiles at Peter and says, Clara and I can come up the mountain with you today because grandfather is coming home and he can push the wheelchair. Peter says nothing but when a, nobody is looking. He takes Clara wheelchair and he pushes it over a cliff and runs away. Where's my wheelchair? cries Clara when grandfather carries her out of the hut. Grandfather and Heidi go and look for it everywhere, but they can't find it. Oh no, now I can't go up to the mountain, says Clara. Yes, you can, says Grandfather quickly, and he carries her up. After he puts her down carefully in a meadow, he goes back down and looks one more for a wheelchair. In the end, he finds it down the cliff. Peter, he cries. At first, Clara is happy on the mountain, but then she sees some beautiful flowers far from her up the meadow. She feels sad because she can't walk over to them. I can carry you, says Heidi. No, you can't. You need to be stronger to that. Clara says to her friend, Wait, I've got an idea, Peter, Heidi cries. Slowly, Peter comes to her. What is it? He says angrily. I want to carry Clara to the flowers. Can you come? Can you help me? Heidi asks him. Clara stands and Peter and Heidi takes her arms. With their help, she moves slowly up the meadow. She's looking at the flowers. Suddenly, the, she moves away from her friends and she begins to walk along. Clara, Heidi cries, you can walk. Oh, yes, you're right, Heidi, I can, answers Clara. The next day, Clara's grandmother visits them. Grandfather tells her about the wheelchair, and when Clara walks in front of her, Grandmama can't believe her eyes. In a hurry, she writes a quicker letter to her son. Important, come at once. Isn't it a Soon after her Sesma arrived, when she's near grandfather's hut, Clara and Heidi walk down to him. Clara, he cries, you're walking. Yes, father, I am. You can thank Heidi and her grandfather for that. Later that day, when it's nearly time for Sesma's to leave, grandmama has a quiet talk with Peter. You are sorry about Clara's wheelchair. I know that. And you are not a bad boy, so I'm not angry with you. Everyone can make a mistake, and now Clara doesn't need her wheelchair. She can walk, so please make a wish. What would you like most of all? A whistle, he answers. Grandmama laughs at that. 
and gives some money to him. With this, you can buy a new whistle every week for the next 50 years, Peter, she says. After that, she says, and her, her assessment talked to grandfather. My good friend, her assessment says, how can we thank you for everything? You don't need to thank me, grandfather says. Oh, yes, we do. Make a wish, please. Her assessment says to the old woman, old man, a wish, okay, but it's for Heidi, not for me. For Heidi, says grandmama. Yeah, she's happier up here in the mountains than in towns or village, grandfather says. So I want to leave my hut to her when I die. Her assessment smiles and says, then Heidi can have all the money she needs to stay here. It's our present to her. She nearly family after all. After that, Clara takes Heidi in her arms and they say goodbye sadly. Then Clara says, but I am coming back next summer and every summer after that I promise. See you next summer then, laughs Heidi. I can't wait. And not long after her assessment, Grandmama and Clara begins the long journey home. 이렇게 해서 스토리가 끝나는군요. 자, reading check 들어갑니다. Correct the mistake in this sentence. 자, 어디가 잘못된지 한번 고쳐보고. Number two. What do they say? 누가 무슨 얘기를 했는지. 그러니까 가장 중요합니다. 스토리에서는. 입체적으로 한번 드라마를 찍듯이 머릿속에서 한번 그려보시고요. The word work 해봅니다. Choose the correct word in each sentence. 문장에 맞게 고쳐보시고, 골라보시고. Guess what? What happened after the end of the story? Finish this sentence with your own ideas. Heidi stays speedily. You can make this sentence. It's your idea. Okay? Wow. It's almost finished. Heidi's story. So next, let's meet another story next time. Bye bye.